Hi guys, jean Sebastien Charles here making another tutorial. This tutorial is going to be how to create resource nodes and create items and resource drops associated with your resource node. First thing you'll want to do is create your items. So go into your window and add a this online. And I'll go under item, item, and I'll create a new item called logs. It's going to be a type of material, and I'm going to check an icon. So, wood. Uh, these icons are from NeoJack Developer Edition. You can get your own icons in the Unity Store. So I'm going to take that one, and I'm going to hit Save. So that's done. Let's close that window for now. And then here, under the Resource folder, under Content, you'll go onto resource drop. You'll take the first example here and it's called resource drop. Then hit Control D for duplicate. And I'm gonna call it logs for three. So here I can say I wanna have between three and five logs. And it's a hundred percent chance of drop. Next, go back in your item. You should see the item you just created here. Item log. And just drag and drop it in the slot over here. Next, what you want to do is search for a tree. You should have some already available if you took the default package. So I'm going to take that tin tree and put it at position 0, 0, and 0. Next, I have to add two components to it. So I'm going to put the resource node component. I'm going to add a mesh collider to my tree. And make sure to put it on layer targetable. Next, I'm going to call it resource node tin tree. And in my folder here, I've made a directory called prefabs and resource node. I'm gonna drag and drop my new tree in that folder. Now you can just erase that node from the senior in and what we want. Okay guys, after you've added your resource node to your prefab folder, let's do some modification here onto the resource node script. So I want to be able to gather some resource on that tree. So I'm going to press one resource and that's the resource you just created before. The resource drop here, log from tree, and I'm going to drag it onto my component here. What you want to use is an axe and it's going to ask you the skill type. Skill type, if you go into your Atavis plugin and under combat and skills, you can see I have set lumbering and this is skill number 4. So I'm going to press 4 here. Required skill level is 0, so everybody can cut it down. And let's say that the max it's going to be able to give me some skills up to is 10. So now you can open the main world. And I'm on the beach right now. So what I want to do is just drag my prefabs in the world like those. Next, what you want to do is open up again your Activis plugin, go into the resource nodes, and hit save nodes. As you can see, those nodes have been saved right now. And once again, you need to restart your server to make the changes available when you log in into your world. Okay guys, my server just restarted. Remember to save your scene and then we'll go into the login and enter into the game. So I just need to input my username, password, and I'll take that character. She already has an X and I'll enter into the world. 
I already shown a tutorial on how to add an axe to your character in previous tutorial and now if I go into that node click, you can say I have four logs now and that trees disappear I can do the same with that one and let's say I unequip the axe here you can see that I'm not it says an axe is required to harvest this node so I'm just gonna put an axe back to my character and here I get and these three are gonna spawn again in about 30 seconds I said in the video I've set them as 60 second respawn guys I cut the video I just want to show you that these trees have respawned after 60 seconds uh, what I just noticed here is my stack level for these logs are, is 1 so I'm gonna show you how you can correct this if you go back into your additives if you go into items and items and you want to edit your logs here you can see I've put a stack limit of 1 so if you want to have multiple stack, let's say a stack of 100 maximum you can just edit it here and tick save data so I hope it helps showing you how to create items, resource drops and resource nodes and I'll see you in another tutorial soon. Bye bye!